All right, let's say I want to solve some equations with a TI-84. Now, there's no built-in routine for that. You know, the good old TI-36 has a built-in routine for it, which makes life simple. This doesn't. You're going to have to use a matrix to solve it with. Now, putting this in a matrix is not very hard. You just strip off the XY, so it'll be 3, 27, 16, 7, 7, 19. Now, I have to type that in the calculator. To type that in the calculator, what you're going to do is you're going to hit second matrix. Now, the matrix button is right above the X and the minus 1. And then when you do, you see a screen of names, edit, math, and edit. We want to go over to edit. So we're going to hit second matrix. And we're going to go over to edit. Okay. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can be able to see what I'm writing all the way across the piece of paper. Then we're going to press enter. Now, this one has two rows and three columns, so we're going to tell it two, enter, three, enter. And you just type in what we have written here. So it'll be three, enter, 27, enter, 16. Now, if you don't want to press enter, you can use the arrow buttons. Seven, enter, seven, enter, 19, enter. Now, I have the whole thing typed in, okay? Once you're done typing it in, you're going to hit second quit, okay? So we're going to hit second quit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit second matrix again. Second matrix. This time we go over to math. And we go down to RREF. So we're going to scroll down to RREF. Okay. And now that we're on REF, we press enter. This puts RREF on the screen. And we still have to tell the calculator what to work with. So what we're going to have to do again is hit second matrix. And then just press enter. Because when we press enter, it will tell the calculator, use matrix A. Okay, I'm pressing enter on A because that's where I typed everything. If I typed it matrix B, I would have went down to B and press enter. Now when you press enter, it solves it. It tells you one, zero, zero, one. We got some ugly decimals because this one has some ugly decimals. I thought that would be fun, okay? Because I don't want the ugly decimals, so how do I get rid of them? You press the math button and just press enter twice. And that gives me the matrix without the ugly decimals. And I got 401 over 168. And some of you are probably wishing you had the decimals right now because this isn't so nice. Okay. And now from here, this one just tells you what X is. This one just tells you what Y is. As long as that has ones on diagonal and everything else is zeros. If this gives you something else, that's a little flaky and that's not what this video is about right now. The video is just about using RREF, the calculator command RREF, to solve a system of equations. Okay? So we'll go down to this next one. This one is a 3 by 4 matrix. So first thing I got to do is put that in a matrix. Now the good thing is I'm going to follow through the same calculator command, so I'm not going to write them down. Okay, to put it in a matrix, I'm going to go 1, 2, negative 1, 4, 2, 1, 1, negative 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So I'm going to hit second matrix on my calculator again. Second matrix, again, matrix is the X right above the X the negative 1 button. We're going to go over to edit this time. Okay. We're going to press enter. This time this is at 3 by 4. So I'm going to tell the calculator 3 and 4. Okay. And then we're just typing it in. 1, enter, 2, enter, negative 1, enter, 4, enter, 2, 1, 1, negative 2, 1, 2, 1, and 2. I didn't use the arrow buttons this time because it's quicker not to. Okay, I'm going to hit second quit to get out of there, following the same steps we used before. Okay, 
So I'm going to I'm going I'm going to want that command. Now one way to do it is just hit the arrow button up. But if you got a T83 or an older 84, you can't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it the proper way. I'm going to hit the second matrix over to math. I'm going to scroll down to RREF. You want the one with the two R's. Then I'm going to hit second matrix. I'm going to go to A and press enter twice. Okay? And this one's giving you that same matrix on the left with the one down the diagonal and everything else zeros. That means it's giving me one answer. Okay? And then what I can do, because I don't want the decimals, I can hit math, enter, enter again, and it tells me negative five thirds, seven thirds, and negative one. All right? So that's how you solve a system of equations using a TI-84 calculator. It'll work on the 83. It's the exact same process on the 83. Only thing is the 83 doesn't let you scroll up through the commands like I'm doing here. The older 84s actually have an easier to read screen than this because it is larger, but it doesn't display as much. We don't have colors. Okay, the screen looks a little dim on this because I am flooding that screen with some pretty bright lights right above me. Okay, and there is some glare on the screen. I didn't know there would be. I'm going to have to do a little bit better job of that. Just move the calculator down, change your camera. All right, sorry about that, but what I'm working, there was no glare on the paper over here. So, that is good. You should be able to follow along and get the same answers. All right, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful.